Welcome back to SnowRunner. This is my own self-imposed hardcore mode. And right now we're getting ready to do a mission. I've been kind of fooling around the last couple of episodes and uh, it's time to get my butt in gear and start completing some of these missions. Now something I did off camera was I took the... Uh, oh shoot. The Lodestar. And I took it around. More to go. Um, I have to come over in this area. And come over in this area. And then, uh, if I can get the camera to move. Come over in this area. And in that area. So that I can get the entire map opened up. The radar unit does well. Uh, I like it. <clears throat> and it makes quick work of this. But right now we're getting ready to do another mission. And I will get back to the radaring later. And that is explore the auxiliary storage, loading area, the main workshop, and the garage of the factory skyline. And that is located over here. And what I went ahead and did, I did the first part just to see if the TUS 166 could do it. And it could. It took a little bit of effort, but it was able to. So you, first you've got to go through here, but there's a big container block in the way. So in order to get that container out of the way, you have two choices. The first is go over this metal here and go through there. And the TUS just won't do it. Uh, the other time I did this, I used the Tatron and got it through. But the uh, TUS just doesn't have enough ass to get over it. But what you can do is that container sitting here, and I bumped up against it, and it moved. So it took me about a minute of pushing and bumping and getting back a little bit and just basically doing that and not getting too far back because I don't want to damage it and pushing it little by little and I'm able to move the container out of the way and that allows me to get in here and I want to move it a little bit more so I can get around it I figure if I brought a bigger scout vehicle over here like the Lodestar, it could probably shove this out of the way with no problem There we go. So now we need to get to these points in here. I'll go this way. Oh, this way first. <clears throat> and I think, yeah, I need to go in here. And I'm not sure if this vehicle can actually do it because it's like an obstacle course. But I'm going to try it. Nice and easy. So I don't damage it too badly. That's the first point. I have four more to go. And there's no other way you can get in here. Uh, you can't jump over that wall there. Because if you try that, those porta potties, yeah, they're not made of plastic. They're made of reinforced concrete. Because you can't get through it. Come on. Oh. There we go. Keep those front tires up there. Parkour for cars. Okay, the next one is off to the left. I'm not sure if I can get to it from this way, but we will give it a shot. I think that's how you get to it, actually. 
to tear my truck up. Actually, I'll go around them. That'll work too. Now here's where I think I'm going to have an issue. But maybe. Game will make it to where you can get a vehicle up over here. If we can attach to anything. Behind me. Which isn't going to do me any good. So let's try to get a little bit of a run. Oh. Somehow I knew that was going to happen. I doubt if I can move that container. Okay, let's go out this way. And then back around. And I know I can't fit through there. I may need a little bit more ground clearance. see what the truck was doing. Well, this sucks. Back in the same spot I was. And it won't let me back out of here. Up, oh, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Up and over. And I don't care. Point. Nope, just four tires. Which means I got a boogie because I have a damaged fuel tank. Let's try to go back. When you have a damaged fuel tank, you leak a little bit of fuel. I've got to go over those. Another linen statue. Take the damage, just let me over it. And you can't get through here, I've tried. Now this is going to be the rough one. I can get around and I don't think I can come on a little more power
There we go. Up over these. And I made it. So I have an exit strategy because I don't want to go back through all of that. And I'm sure you can guess what my exit strategy is. Because I actually, when I got over in here, I couldn't get back over those with the Tatrum it would not let me through. So, and you can't go that way. It looks like you might be able to slide over there, but you can't. And you also can't go over these and go through there. So I don't know what the deal was, but I ended up having to recover to the garage. But I'm recovering in a different way this time. And this was my backup plan. In case I couldn't get in there. Oh, come on. There we go. And or crane. So if you find you can't get into there, you could do what I do and just uh, lift the vehicle over. Just like a glove. So I do have this fuel tanker over here. That's the one over by the gas station. And I'm going to make that delivery a little later on. And all it is is delivering it, I think, to the south camp. I don't remember, but I'll figure it out. Uh, but right now we have another mission. Uh, let's find my truck. So the Tega has a mission here. And it is the Knee Deep. So the Knee Deep is a loaf that is stuck out on the ice. And start tracking it. And I have already come over and uh, just winched to it and brought it out this far. So we're going to make that delivery. And this needs to be taken to the amateur mechanic. And the amateur mechanic is way over here. So what we'll be doing is coming out. 
coming back up on the road here. And then we will take our exit here. Go up this road and deliver it right. Actually, deliver it over here. Yeah, poop. Where's my dot? So the Tega does not like this snow here at all. I thought it would do better in the snow, but it doesn't seem to like it. Nope, that's too close. Wasn't watching. So let's attach it one more time. Now you do have to uh, fix this truck up and you have to refuel it in order to complete the first part of the mission. The second part is delivering it. And I use the F750 to come over here and fix it up. But I do not want to pull anything with the 750 because honestly it's just, it doesn't have enough power to do anything. It can barely carry its own weight. So what I've ended up doing is I've just taken it back to the garage. And that's probably where I'll leave it till I get the engine upgrade on the next map. Wow, my Twitch stream is having a lot of issues. It keeps buffering. Which could mean that Sudden Stink is up to their old tricks and reducing my internet speed. That is my provider. And they provide very little. But I've already fixed the truck up, so if it gets banged up, not my problem. Yeah, really not impressed with the Tegas performance. Not an easy road to drive on.
and you are not going to fool me again because if you get down in that mud area you're screwed that's probably the thickest mud on this map and there are no real good trees to attach to Delivered. And I think we have one more vehicle to deliver up here. Alright folks, so I'm back. Um, I downloaded the video, that uh, 20 minute one that I just did, and it seemed to play fine. It had no buffering or anything, so it just, I don't know if it was a problem with the internet or Twitch or my computer, and it could be a computer thing because I can see it's still trying to buffer. So hopefully that doesn't affect anybody if they start watching. <clears throat> but we're going to continue on. So I made the delivery. And I got into this vehicle. Which was over here. And there was a uh, task to come up here and visit this site. So I came up here and I drove into it. I didn't mean to drive into it. I tried to stop and I just skidded into it. So I completed that one, and what I'm going to do is come down here and pick up this vehicle. And it's right here. So it's like a brother. And I think I have to get down there to get it. To open it up. So that's what we're getting ready to do. <clears throat> so I had stopped the video, and... I got on Twitch and under my producer part and tried to play it and it was still buffering really bad. So I decided I'll just download it. And man, it took forever to download. It took a half an hour to download a 20 minute video. Um, but then when I played it back, it was fine. So not sure what's going on. But I will continue on. finish out this episode and then what I'll probably do is just restart everything uh, my router server the whole works <clears throat> yeah. slid on through it so we're going to start tracking it so we do have to fix it up and like brothers deliver to the amateur mechanic which we had just come from and what I'm going to do instead of using my repair points uh, from the Tatran I'm just going to tow it over here and use the repair points and the fuel over here because it's not completely destroyed uh, it's just got some issues I believe that would be the easiest thing to do because I cannot resupply these repair points out of this out of the Tatron unless I take it back to the garage and I'm not ready to do that yet <clears throat> I also went and set some vehicles up for some other missions
and it appears it has become or it is starting to become daylight again and I think I do have to go left uh, because right has a lot of I can get down in there if I'm not pulling anything behind me but there are a lot of trees and I'll end up getting this thing stuck on a tree but it does mean I have to go through the mud Unless I see a way through here, which I do not see an easy path. I might be able to slide between those trees, but I'm not going to risk it. Whoa, what am I doing? I'm just going to stick to the road so I don't have anything get stuck on me. My other playthrough, I tried to take a semi-trailer. Uh, take it through some trees. Ended up getting it so stuck, I thought I was going to have to leave it there. I had to get the P-16 or the P-12 out there to, just to pull it out. Because it was wedged in there tight. And speaking of the P-12, off camera, I have been using that truck a lot. Uh, I used it so much with the fuel, taking fuel places, and, oh shoot. Uh, yeah, I have to hook up with that one. Because I want to take the points out of that trailer. So, stop the engine. And since I'm over here, let's go ahead and get this mission completed. So, this was what mission? Pit stop? Nope. Not that one. Yeah, I don't remember what mission it was. There's one mission. Cabin fever. <clears throat> That's it. So I had to deliver these two containers. So it's pretty straightforward. You just grab them and tug them. They have skids on them. And you have to get both of them in there before uh, as you can see up there you've got two container from East Camp and one from South Camp. Deliver them to the North Camp. You have to actually get them both in there before it accepts it. So in my first playthrough I brought one over and I never could get the one that I brought over to register that it was accepted. So I thought it was a glitch and decided to just bring, go ahead and bring the other one over. And as soon as I pulled into the box, it gave me credit for both of them. Alright, let's go hook this monster up. Uh, as I was saying earlier, not really all that impressed with the Tega and Snow. It doesn't do as well as I thought it would. In mud, it does well. In snow, not so much. up here and get the repairs on it. Let's 
Stop the engine, no sense of wasting gas. And repair. Service trailer. To that one. Okay, still leaves me a good bit of uh, points left, and it didn't take any out of the Tatron. So that's what I wanted. And then we'll go back up and push it back for some fuel. And I may have to give one, may have to give it one repair. Change trucks. I'm thinking about the, uh, the stream and stuff and I'm not concentrating on what I'm doing. So refuel. Actually, let's get this up here. This was some friends. Look, oh, like brothers. Yeah, I'm going to have to give it one repair point. So let's refuel it. And then give it one repair point. And that stage is complete. And let's hook it up, because we have the delivery to make. Nope, come back this way. And we're taking it back over, we're take, go heading back over to the mechanic. So I come back through here, come out that way, and Yeah, we'll come up this way this time. I think the road is a little bit better. And since he's an amateur mechanic, I don't know why I had to fix him first. Shouldn't he be fixing them? <clears throat> yeah, I'm looking over here at my stream and it's still buffering. So hopefully it'll be all right. And I will just piece the two videos together. Come on now. You're not going to let me down. But anyway, I was saying about the uh, P12. Uh, I've gotten a couple of trucks stuck in the vicinity of the P12 and brought the P12 out. They were stuck in the ice. And it pulled them out no problem. And then I also realized that the P12 can make it through where the thin ice is. Yeah, but this one's having issues. Maybe I should have went around that way. Well, poop. I broke all this up with the Tega, trying to get it over here. And now I'm paying for it. 
Because the tag was like a plow. It just did not want to go through here. But the P-12 has turned out to be an awesome decision of bringing that out. Plus I've refueled vehicles and I've repaired vehicles. I used so much, I used it so much uh, while I was scouting and setting things up that I actually had to drive it back to the garage and get it refitted. I ran out of repair points and I was about out of fuel. Which is one of the reasons why I just took the 750 back over the garage and left it. Because that's a task that I would use a 750 for. And it just seems like it just does not want to go anymore. So I retired it to the garage and the P-12 actually does a lot better job at it. low gear. That would explain why I was going so slow. Okay, so let's cross over here. And I picked this spot because there's a tree over there laying down and one right here. To help me pull out. Come on, climb up. I got the wheels turned, but it won't climb out. Here it goes. repaired it so I got credit for that so it didn't matter if it got any more damage to it now I think I will go down this road to get out of here Got the timed event that I hate. I have never been able to get a gold in that. Uh, yeah, give it a shot. See if I can cross over. I know I'm going to fall through. Maybe it can dig itself out. Oh, no. I didn't. Not all the way, anyway. Yeah, that timed event I'll do off-camera. Because I tend to curse a lot when I try to do that one. Okay, we'll get this over here into the snow where it is nice and firm. and stop the engine and I have another delivery to make and that is one we started a while back nope not you Vorondi someone get the Vorondi back 
and that is supplies delivery so let's find that right down here start tracking so we need to take uh, one service part to north camp and one to east camp so I am over here near this camp so I'll go ahead and deliver this one now this truck does very well in the snow Canyons mess with my camera. Or a chunk of that rock off. And I do believe this is the last time I have to come this way. I forgot what that was. I think that is this mission. Yep. So now we deliver it to the north camp. That will be one more completed. One step closer to my goal of getting this playthrough completed before the newest update. That way I can play the new update in my hardcore mode. watched a video earlier and it, I think it was entitled uh, 10 things you can do once you beat the game and some of them I've already done it's like you do you go back and you retrieve all your trailers and sell them or find all your upgrades But one of them got me thinking, and it was uh, help people out in co-op. So that might be a video series that I could do. Uh, just going into co-op, helping random people. I could also start a co-op. I could do a co-op and when people jump in I will invite them in to chat. See what they have to say. So could go through there, but that is really muddy. I 
I do, why not? Let's see what old girl can do. A winch. And this is supposed to be fun for me. Wow, I thought it was muddy, but I think it's more rocky than mud. And here comes the mud. Maybe not. Here is where I got the trailer stuck. It was, I think, right over there, right above where my spotlights are. I got it in between a couple of trees, trying to take a shortcut, and it did not work out too well. It'd go to the right. So I did hear somebody talking about the new map. Uh, they were talking about some of the features. Said the new map will have a garage on it, but you will have to do missions to open up the garage. So, me doing some thinking, because I have not seen any of the... Um, videos from the test server. I don't want to. Uh, I want to play the next map not knowing where anything is. And they said you had to do missions in order to open up the garage. So that means that it has to be connected to another map. And I would be assuming that it would be connected to this map. Because there is a place, and if I can find it, I think it's out this way. Yep, come back over here. Yeah, there is a place here with a tunnel that's blocked. You can't get in there. So that might be how you get to the new map. Have to wait and see, and I hope, I hope they do some... Uh, work on these roads because these roads through here are a bear to get through none of them are easy and in my other playthrough I took this looks like a road it is not okay it is snow and it took me about an hour and a half to get the uh, load star through here and I mean it was just inching inch by inch and pulling out trees and it was just a pain because I tried several different ways to get through here and just could not the only way I get through was coming through here now with the Tatran it will probably be a lot easier which we are going to have to go up there And this might be a good time to do that. So where is my Tatran? So it is way down here. And I believe Frozen End Time is the mission. I've got my Lodestar over there. But... Ah, uh, there it is. No, it's not. Yeah, there's my P-12. So I can refuel there. Help if I actually got into the Tatran. Ah. 
Back it up. So right there it is. Let's get over to it. We'll refuel. And then we'll do this frozen in time mission. And it's just four points that you have to find. Yeah, the uh, P-12 handles this area very well. Uh, I did get it stuck once because I got it completely in the ice straight on and it would not climb out of it. Uh, but it didn't take much to pull it out. So yeah, I've just been uh, moving this truck up and down this ice here, wherever I needed it. So it has been all over this area here, doing refuels and repairs and, uh, like I said, I about wore it out. Alright, so let's zoom in here. And I don't want to go that way. I want to go up this way. It is easier, not as many rocks. And in the long run, it will probably be faster. Got my fuel cans full. Got a full tank, half a pack of cigarettes, and we're wearing sunglasses. You know what that, uh, what movie that was? Put it down in the comments. much. For a second there I thought it blew a tire. This is where I wanted to go. Up here to my right. And then follow the road till it ends. Huge pile of snow. I get there that way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can, so let's try it. I don't think I've been down this road.
it's a slippery one. thing does not like ice. So go to my left. So word of advice, do not bring the Lodestar up here. You will regret it if it's all you bring. And some of these telephone poles, you cannot attach a winch to. Uh, can I get through there? Should be able to. Oh yeah, I can see it now. Point one. Three more to go. Yeah, a telephone pole that's leaning like this, you cannot attach to. I was good with the load star up until here. In this area, it took forever to get through here. Because it was just inching, 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 inching. I'm going to see if I can get out of here. Oh, and I may not do much better with this. But you see all you have is little trees. That's all you've got to winch to. And by the time I made it out of here, I had tore down every one of those trees. missed. And let's see if they changed it to where you can. Oh. Can't hook to that one. Let's see what this one will do. So you can hook to this one now. When I came through here the other time you could not.
Got to be careful I do not have the autonomous winch on here. See if I can find a sturdy tree. That one should be sturdy enough. Back the way we came. Slight modification there. And hit these last two points. Remember right, this one's not hard to get to. But the other one is. A lot of deep snow. Actually, it's not too bad now. Alright, so I think that will do me for now. Uh, let me know what you think about the video. Hopefully the video turns out. That one's way over here. So we have to do that with another vehicle. And I have some other missions set up, so we'll do those in the next episode. And I still have to get over here and open this area up. Uh, I'm going to have to do a combo of the Tatran and the Lodestar to get up in those areas. Because I did try the radar unit with the Tatran, and it won't work unless it's hooked uh, actually to a... Uh, to a hitch and not to a winch so let me know what you think let me know what i need to do to improve the videos a little bit and i appreciate you watching it so until next time have a good one